Society is currently facing various challenges, for example, those linked to climate change, food and water security, land cover change and atmospheric pollution. And these phenomena are highly dynamic over space and time. And there's an urgent need for data to help us monitor changes and guide optimal environmental decision making. Satellite remote sensing is capable of viewing vast areas of our planet routinely with high spatial coverage. It is currently the only tool we can use to observe the entire surface of our planet at daily resolution. Just like we have instruments to measure the environment on land or in the ocean, like thermometers to measure temperature, we can also do the same from space. And I'm still amazed that a satellite orbiting at more than 400 kilometers above the Earth can measure the ocean temperature to within 0.2 of a degree Celsius. Within the Remote Sensing Research Group here at Exeter, our work covers the whole Earth system with a really strong focus on climate and the carbon cycle. This means that our research asks questions about the dynamic land, ocean and atmospheric systems and their interactions. I work with the European Space Agency to study ocean health and in particular carbon, as we can use satellites to quantify and monitor how and where our oceans absorb the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide. This enables us to identify which ocean regions are at greatest risk due to this absorption of carbon. And this information can be used to guide conservation efforts and also to direct policy towards reducing carbon emissions. I work on the land studying the dynamics of vegetation. My work tries to untangle the relationships between the structure of plant communities and flows of water and carbon. For example, I have used laser scanning and satellite altimetry to monitor peatlands, guiding restoration efforts. I've also used data from satellites like NASA's Landsat system to understand vegetation dynamics in hard to reach places like the Himalayan Alpine Zone. In the UK, we're using combinations of satellite products to map treescapes, and this information will allow us to chart new pathways towards net zero. I study phytoplankton in the oceans from space. These microscopic organisms sustain fisheries, help control carbon dioxide levels, and regulate our climate. They also modify the colour of the ocean, which we can see from space. I am interested in how climate change is impacting phytoplankton, and I use satellite observations to study them. The science of remote sensing is interdisciplinary, and in order to realise the true power of satellite observations, we need to link to other ground-based observations and models. As a group, we use a variety of methods to do that, tapping into new technology. For example, we've pioneered the use of drones for capturing near-surface imaging data for environmental monitoring, and we can use those observations for validation of satellite products. We also collaborate with other scientists, for example, biologists, Geologists and physical oceanographers to capture Earth surface data to use in our studies. We also combine remote sensing with citizen science by integrating sensors into water sports equipment and miniaturising traditional tools for measuring water colour and clarity. We can improve our interpretation of nearshore satellite data. We also work with ocean robotic platforms, for example, biogeochemical Argo floats, which we use to study regions of the ocean that we can't see from space. Remote sensing is rapidly evolving and new satellites are being launched at a surprising pace. And some of our new work is identifying the complete environmental impact of launching satellites. So this is including understanding how the gases from rocket launches can interact with our atmosphere and what happens to the atmosphere when old satellites burn up during re-entry. To learn about the complex Earth system, we sometimes need to adopt a new vantage point. From above, we can explore things that would be very difficult to measure from down here on Earth. So next time you look at a satellite image, think about the science of remote sensing.